Welcome to our video showing the installation of our new two-post lift. It's a Danmar M6 portable mid-rise lift with 6,000 pound capacity. We are missing one item in the shipment. The Mustang in the picture was not in the box. Absolute bummer. Because of the weight, it was delivered using a lift gate truck. It came in two boxes. The smaller box was the power unit for the lift. Everything seemed secure and well packaged. You may wonder why we chose a mid-rise lift versus a full-size lift, since we do have the headroom. The major advantage for us is that the lift is portable. We can easily move the columns out of the way if we need floor space for other projects going on in our shop. Here we are unpacking all the parts that came in the main box. These are the lift arms that we're now pulling out. Here we're removing the two pneumatic cylinders so we can later install the correct fittings. We asked our good friend to come over with his truck to help move these columns. We used our engine hoist to lift each column into the truck since each weigh about 350 to 400 pounds. Here are all the parts that came out of the box. The lift arms, the accessory box, and the power unit stand. Here are the two columns that are ready now to be transported to our shop. And now for a short musical interlude. And now back to our feature film. The excitement rises as we unpack the accessory box. Install the wheels on each column. These wheels help one person to be able to move a column. After installing the correct fittings on each hydraulic cylinder, install it into the column. Very important to remember to move the lift head completely down to the base so it doesn't slam down when you bring the columns upright. Once you have the columns upright, install the handles. This helps a single person move the columns around. Now it's time to actually install the power drop anchors for each column. 
The manual gives very good instructions on figuring out where to put this column, depending on the type of vehicles you will be servicing. A nice feature about this portable lift is that if you have different size vehicles, you can actually create different mounting areas in your shop. We finished drilling 7 8 inch holes 5 inches deep in our concrete. Following the instructions of the manual, we now thread 5 and a half inch sacrificial hex bolts with the assembled nut and washer into the anchor. Fully seat the power drop anchor in the hole and rotate the nut approximately 3 full turns. This ends up to be about 90 foot pounds of torque. Make sure the anchor does not spin while you turn the nut. Remove the sacrificial bolt and check to make sure that the top of your power drop anchor is set in approximately 3 8 to 1 quarter inch. Roll the column into place, check for plumb, then put your bolts and washers in place. If needed, you can shim the column to make it plumb. The hydraulic power unit comes with a stand that is easily assembled following the manual's instructions. Installing the various fittings is also easy to do. We put quick connects on the main hoses so that we can easily store them when not needed. Fill the reservoir with the recommended AW32 hydraulic oil. Once your lift arms have been attached, it's time to give the lift a test drive. Bring up the lift heads a short way to make sure both lift arms are coming up evenly and you don't have any hydraulic leaks. As with any lift, raise the vehicle up a short way until the wheels are just off the ground. Shake the auto a bit at the back and front to ensure the vehicle is secure on the arms. Here's a picture of the truck on the lift for the first time. We do have underlift mid-rise jack stands that we use when working under the vehicle. Removing the columns is easy. Remove the lift arms, disconnect the hydraulic hoses if you desire, and remove the five bolts. One person can easily roll the column out of the way. Please let us know in the comments if you have any questions or comments about our video. We plan on doing a review of the lift after about one year of use. That's all folks and thanks for watching. There's more videos to come on the truck. Leave a comment if you want and remember it's free to subscribe. Bye bye. Happy New Year from Jot's Shop.